I've lived in Sussex for more than 30 years, longer in fact than I've lived in any other part of England. Even before the family moved to the county, we enjoyed holidays in Eastbourne, so we were well aware of its attractions. During one such holiday in the late 1970s, we were able to enjoy the band of the Irish Guards, marching through the streets and playing at the famous bandstand. In 1985, due to a job promotion, I was moved to Sussex and we bought a house in Cooden, Bexhill-on-Sea. It was at this time that I became a member of Eastbourne Cine Club and my filmmaking in Eastbourne and Sussex continued. One of the films I made at that time was called Trust Starts Here, documenting the origins of the National Trust. I filmed the first property purchased by the Trust at Olfriston, plus many of the other National Trust properties in Sussex. Whilst living in the Bex Hill area, I met Trevor Hughes, a local gents hairdresser, artist and fellow film fanatic. Trevor allowed me to film his work in the painting of a portrait of Humphrey Bogart. A further move with my job brought me to Haywards Heath in 1990 and I joined the Haywards Heath Cine and Video Society. Still using a cine camera in those days, I made a film titled Constable Counties, depicting three of the counties I'd lived in, which also had an association with the artist John Constable. Constable often visited Sussex, lodging in Brighton in the 1820s. He made many paintings and drawings in Sussex, including his final work, Arundel Mill and Castle. By the late 1990s, I had switched from cine to video, enabling me to record the centenary celebrations of Haywards Heath Methodist Church in the year 2000. Around this time, I also became involved with the local film archive and made a video about the Hove film pioneers, George Albert Smith and James Williamson. The film included an exhibition at Hove Museum. Whilst working for the Film Archive, I had the pleasure of meeting Joan Morgan, one of Britain's silent screen stars. Joan was 95 at the time, but vividly remembered her time at the Shoreham Film Studios. It was all wooden bungalows, a lot of them railway carriages, and it was the holiday area for all the stars of the music hall. So you had lovely, sometimes they'd come and sing the songs that had made them famous. You had a wonderful life then. In 2008, I helped to make Seeds for Life, a documentary about the vital work of the Millennium Seed Bank at Wakehurst Place. The Seed Bank project has been a great success so far. Um, we have around 96% of the UK flora in the bank, the only country in the world to have anything like that proportion of its flora uh, in a seed bank, uh, and we're after a few of the stragglers. Um, but for the world target of 10%, we're absolutely on track to deliver that. We will deliver it on time and under budget uh, this year. Wakehurst has become a favourite place to visit over the years, along with other local gardens such as Nyman's and Sheffield Park. In 2011, I helped to record an event celebrating the charity Sightsavers 40th year in Haywards Heath, when historic film footage was released from their archive. Sadly, the charity has since moved its headquarters away from Sussex. I have recorded the county in drought. And in rain. In the height of summer. And in the depths of winter. Sussex is a county that truly has something for everyone.